Welcome back to Fire Dragon, and we are here today on my Minecraft server. It has been a while since I've been here, and I should probably take myself out of creative mode. A whoopsie daisy. Um, but it has been a while since I've been here. Clearly, um, if you remember last episode, uh, this is rolled back. Uh, this was much bigger, and uh, different things were here, like the enchantment table. Um, so the reasoning for this is because I set up a new server, not like a new server, but I set up a new hub area, and then I wanted to kind of restart uh, with certain things. And so I rolled back uh, just a bit. I went to an older world file, so that way there were... Um, hold on. So the spawn was different. I'll show you that in a second. But... So this is our inventory as you could say. Uh, not very much. It is after we built the mob farm, which is good, because I didn't want to have to redo that. Um, and then my friend here built a small portion of his house. Um, although, a very long time ago, he had built onto it pretty tall. So this is a pretty far rollback, but then again, it's also uh, a bit more clean than the last one, because a bunch of my friends and I messed around on this, and kind of messed up some things, but that's not the point of today. The point of today is to show you the new server, although that was weird. Okay, um, this is the spawn. If you remember what the old one was, I believe it had a roof on it whenever you last saw it. It is not anymore. Um, I like it better open like this, which is why I changed it to this. Uh, and then we'll go to the actual hub area and show you this, because this is really cool looking in my opinion. Uh, I built it, of course, uh, but yeah, so we have our first spawn. It says, Welcome to Fire Dragon Server, aka Kittens1, who is your admin and owner. Please sh uh, make sure to read everything before switching to a different world. And so we'll start in the applications room, because that's where everybody wants to start. Why not? So we have the application information. Uh, there's all this information, application subject, uh, what you should put inside your application, uh, what are your odds of getting chosen, and a book and quill, if it's necessary, along with information towards it. So we'll get two of those. Uh, there are these chests here, which the information tells you to throw it into the chest whenever you have completed your application. And these are trap chests, so it doesn't fall down until you let go. So that way, in case someone didn't mean to throw it in there, then or they forgot something right at the last second, then they'll be able to pull it right out. Uh, hopefully they won't forget before they Oh, close the chest, but yeah, anyway, this is the area that comes through. Those two are just in there, just chilling. And we will go over on to the server teleports. Uh, we have this area behind the andesite. You can step on the and or granite, sorry. I always get them mixed up with andesite. I believe this is granite. Let's find out. Granite. Yep, polished granite. Sorry. Anyway. You can step in the polished granite, but if you go any further behind it, you'll be teleported. Uh, and that's what the warning is telling you, and that's also what the andesite is for. Granite. Granite. i got to click on the andesite. Um, so we have the PvP server over here in that area, which we'll show you all the servers in a second. PvE there, and minigames here. Um, although PvE isn't that much different, especially because I just showed you it. Um, and PvP isn't different from previous, but I'll show you it anyway, just in case there are new people, or in case you forgot. And this is the commands room. Uh, just a few little commands. There's not that many commands that you need to know, at least not that you can. Like, the most obscure ones, you can just type slash help and it'll be there. Um, and this is the moderator and or staff room, kind of. It's not really a room, but you know what I mean. Staff area. Um, clearly, slots are open. There's me, I am the admin, um, my friend, and other friend. And then we have the rules. So, rule number one, no foul language. Rule number two, don't grief from other players in PvE. Rule number three, do not hack or cheat. Rule number four, listen to mods and don't argue. Rule number five, if you have an issue with a player, report them on the forums tab of the server website. Rule number six, be nice to all players. Rule number seven, do not ask for staff, you will be kicked and or banned. Uh, here are questions and comments about the server. You can go to the website. Eventually that website will change, because why not? And then it'll show up in chat. Alright, now 
now here's donations uh, if you would like to you can donate would you like to donate to the server go to website and click donation store blah 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 this will probably all change once I get up my other website instead uh, it allows you to get a better computer and expand the server now I did just get an awesome gaming PC it's amazing that's why there's no lag absolutely no lag and I'm running shaders Woo! it's fun it's awesome best computer ever but it is not what I run the server on I run this server on a other computer so that way it doesn't get uh, logged up by other games that I'm playing and stuff other programs that I do uh, so that way it just I don't interfere with the server in any way other than of course intentionally um, but yeah and then there's this area over here that tells you join us on TeamSpeak and join us on Discord um, completely removed a sign that said join us on Discord I didn't don't know how that happened join uh, Jin, I gotta get used to this new keyboard by the way. Join us on Discord. There we are. Join us on TeamSpeak and join us on Discord. So, can hit that. That's the IP, and then join that, and that's the link. And that's all there is to the hub area. So, we're gonna hop into the PvP world. And that's what this is. It looks so much better with shaders, to be honest. Um,. It could, it's going to get an improvement. Um, my good friend just got also a good PC. I don't know how good, but it is a good one. Uh, he finally is able to do that, and so we'll be playing a lot more computer games together. Uh, Vampire Alpha 150 for my Terraria series. And every now and then he's been on a Minecraft video, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing some renovations here, or he will most likely be the one doing them. Um, and so let's just go ahead and go over to the mini games. I don't need to go to the hub and then walk into the portal. You can just type slash server mini games. So this is the alpha, I guess you would call it, version of the mini games uh, place. This place I built myself, and I personally think it looks fantastic, like better than the hub. Although the hub is completely different style and completely different function, and so it's kind of hard to compare them. Either way. This is the best minigames world I've ever built, and here's the information about it first. Do you want to create your own minigame? Talk to a mod. They will guide you through the steps to creating a minigame. Once the minigame is complete, there will be a teleport from the spawn to your minigame. Don't forget to make it extra cool looking and extra fun so people will play the minigame. And then, uh, there's this. Want to play a minigame? Check out the server mod and player minigames areas that branch out from the spawn. These are all made with a lot of effort, so be sure to check them out. Um, and then this says, come this way first here, uh, minigames information. I probably should have done that in the opposite order, but whatever. And of course, this just takes away effects, so that way if you have any minigames with effects and stuff, you won't have them anymore. And players don't see that part, um, except for the game mode has been updated to adventure mode, uh, as far as I know at least. So anyway, here's the player minigames, nobody's created one yet. Uh, halt, if you haven't read the info, please do so first and I didn't have enough room to actually write out the word first so I just did one ST but whatever um oh what's this I don't know gotta change my game out I'm smart I don't know how that happened I must have knocked it out or something anyway uh, so these would teleport you they'd have uh, the title of the game as long as well as the name of the player on a sign above the button uh, so that's how these work. They're the blue lapis rooms, uh, pretty much so. And then moderator minigames. The staff themselves also says read info. Um, the staff themselves will be creating minigames, uh, and it'll be the same way as the other one. Uh, the sign with the moderator name and the minigame name uh, above the button. And here are the server minigames, the ones that I work on, as well as I call in for help from other friends and staff members as well as I need to. But this is just for everybody. So we have Spleef, created by the staff, clearly. All of these are created by the staff. We have Island Hoppers, which is under temporary construction. Uh, and Hunger Games, which is under long-term construction, created by the staff. Yet again, uh, all of these just say created by the staff because we already know who's going to be creating them. <laughs> so this one's more like a team effort, and the moderator is like his own work. Um, but yeah, so Spleef is pretty self-explanatory, if you know what the game Spleef is uh, from Hunger Games. But in each area, there's going to be this little, uh, mm, what do you call it, 
gateway room kind of um, that tells you different information about the mini game and then sends you to the mini game. So that way you always know what's going on and people don't just skip over it unless they decide to skip over it. But I can't be blamed for it if they do that. So anyway, you can type slash spawn to return to the mini game spawn um, or just hit the stone button there. And then what is this game? Press the button to find out. So this one, welcome to the Spleef minigame. Here you will be given a shovel and you will be trying to destroy the snow blocks from underneath everyone else so that they fall and dive in lava. And then there's how can how many players can play this game. Press the button to find out. It is recommended that you play around five to six players, although it is still quite fun with a minimum of two players. It is best if you collaborate with your group of players to say, don't come back until we have a winner or something of the sort. Just have fun. Uh, so there's for that button. And then press the button to teleport to the game press and it teleports to this kind of intermediary room as well but there's a teleport to leave and request other players so this send out a request to the whole server I think just the minigame server maybe the entire entire server but it says do you like play minigames someone is requesting to play spleef join now and of course the name will interchange with whatever the minigame is uh, here's teleport to leave it'll teleport you fill up all the snow blocks in here and give you a shovel with unbreaking uh, tin it has, says spleef on it, and it can only break snow, as you can see in the can break section. And since it's a diamond shovel, it just breaks things instantly. Anyway, we didn't need to add efficiency or anything. But, um, yeah, and so you just break a bunch of blocks, try to get your enemy to fall in lava, or fall in lava yourself, because you don't know what you're doing. And then uh, you hit the respawn button, and you respawn in the spawn of this world, which is a separate world, it's not the same world. Um, but it's on the same server, so that's just something. And all of the four corners do the same thing. So let's go back. I can just type slash spawn, or if you wanted to, you could do slash MV spawn, and that'll teleport you. Whoops, capital lock. And that'll teleport you back to the spawn of this world. Same as if you died, but slash spawn will teleport you to the spawn of the server. Um, and here, and let's see. That's information. I'm smart. Uh, here we go. Whoops. Uh, let's go. Come on. Walk faster. There we go. Let's go to the island hoppers. I don't. Yeah, I did set this up correctly. And we'll tell you what this is about. Th in this game, Island Hoppers, you will be hopping from island to island with incredible jump boost. There's a catch, though. Each jump becomes increasingly harder. And this is actually one that I created myself a while ago. And sadly, I did not keep the world for that. I really wish I had, but I did not. So I can't just take that world and do it, because it was an awesome course. And now I have to redo everything. But it's fine. It's fun. Uh, which is why it's under temporary construction because I already have the idea and all this stuff and I know how to do it and it's actually pretty easy to do. So I will be doing that as soon as I want to. I'm lazy, so yeah. Anyway, how many players can play this game? Press the button to find out. Although this is technically a one player game, you can easily turn it into multiplayer by competing against your friends to see who can reach the end the quickest. Or just take a friend for the first time and play through this mini game all the while messing around with your friends. So, yes, so there's that. And then teleporting to the game. I don't think I've set up any islands yet, but here we are. Type slash MV spawn to return here, and this button gives you jump boost and resistance so you don't die whenever you fall. There is one of the islands, a couple of the islands actually, and this removes the effects. Just, yeah. And this is one of the mini games that you would want to have the removed effects at the uh, uh, mini game spawn area that I was showing you. Wow, this looks really cool from up here. Wow, that's cool. Uh, anyway. So yeah, you go up here, you go on this, and then you jump on to the next island. And then you go from this island. I don't think this jump is possible. I have an actual... Whoops, that was a fail. But either way, you do that. And it's pretty fun. Um, if I, as soon as I get the course completely set up, this is going to be awesome. The best mini game, The bestest. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go back to the actual spawn. And we will teleport to the Hunger Games map. And I actually don't think I have a Hunger Games map. I just know that I'm going to create it, which is why it says under long-term construction. And why is this broken? What is this? Is this the only other one that's broken? Let's just check. I believe it is. Um, here we are. I must have like accidentally been swinging or something when I was walking through here. Or somebody else. Uh, one of the staff. And here, I don't think, yeah, I didn't think so. There's no world yet for it even, because that's going to take a long time and a lot of collaborative effort to do that one.
Uh, but anyway, that's all there is for the minigame server, and actually that's going to be all there is for this episode. In the future, we'll be playing more Minecraft and having fun with this on this server, and then on to Mindlands too. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Fire Dude.